Uh, welcome back to the Cheryl Underwood show. Uh, <laughs> before the break, Cheryl listed off a lot of blasts from her past. She really knows a lot about Chicago. In this season of surprises, because this is season four for me, I have some surprises for you. Uh-oh. On graduation night, I did some digging. And you shared a kiss with a man named Jeff Keller. <laughs> oh, my God, this is so embarrassingly happening. <laughs> it was one of the best kisses I've had between him and John Stamos, best kisses I've ever had. And Chucky e. Curry. And Chucky e. Curry. And Billy Whitehead. <laughs> and Axel Brown. Please stop. And Terry Westbrook. Listen to Couple me. Couple of Chicago Bears. Okay. Huh? Okay, listen to me. Okay, what? We tracked him down. Oh my gosh, really? Please welcome from the class of 81 <laughs> at Atwater High School, oh Jeff! You remember that kiss came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my, Steve! Oh my God! Where Jeff, you how you doing? How you doing? Grab a seat. Where you want them to sit? Where you want them? Uh, just over I'll on just that sit right over here. Oh. That kiss came out of nowhere. All the caps and the gals with us. Oh my God! Oh my gosh! Oh my God! This is the Jeff most kids. unbelievable <laughs> thing I've I've never seen her surprised or embarrassed. None. She's always on ten, straightforward. Jeff, what was Cheryl like in high school? Well, her parents were in the military, and so were mine. Uh -huh. We met each other in base housing at the bus stop. I yes. think it was our uh, sophomore year. Yes. I'd be walking up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd walk up the bus stop, and she'd sit there and make jokes and yeah. goof around. Oh <laughs> and see, I, I didn't know that that wasn't really supposed to happen that way. I just thought I was uh, fabulous. And, you know, <laughs> and, and, then, and he would talk to me and we would talk to each other. And he would wear, you know, they wear them nice Sergio Valente jeans. Like Andy Gibb, you know, remember the BG? The, the younger Andy Gibb, shadow dancing, you know, and he looked like Sean Cassidy. You know, <laughs> so uh, y'all don't know who Sean Cassidy is? No, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we do, but your references is not. Oh, listen to we're this. We're in the part. 80s, man. Yeah, but listen to me. Jeff, Jeff bought your yearbook. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Jeff, uh, open that book up. We want to show you something that we found in the oh, yearbook. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Something you wrote. I believe you wrote something. Did I write it? Yeah. Oh, you wrote it. Oh, yeah. Lord, what did I say? Here, let me, uh, ah. No. Yeah, no, no. Well, where is it at, sir? Right here. Oh, it's right there. Uh-oh, let me see what I want. No, no, no. I always thought that you were a wonderful guy. And if it's not too much, could I have some cuckoo? Well, <laughs> 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 you at least I'll Shut up, shut up. <laughs> Could I, I have some, so could I have some cuckoo on graduation night? <laughs> Parentheses, just kidding. <laughs> Cheryl, you was just, you was ignorant back then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Because he had, he was like a big man on campus and he had all the young ladies was after him. And I was rally commissioner, so I was doing funny stuff and I was in journalism and everything. And I wasn't really like, uh, I was kind of yeah. awkward. Wouldn't you say I was awkward? Yeah, because I remember you had them big old uh, Coke bottle Show lens, it, glasses. Yeah, that fake <laughs> scar. Damn, look at that. Isn't that them legs? <laughs> we got them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cheryl, I got some more for you. Uh-oh. Yeah, Jeff ain't your only surprise. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay. Can I uh -oh. change my hair then? <laughs> no, you had a crush on another boy when you was young. You just had a bunch of crushes when you were five years old. No. Axel Brown. Oh, my God! Oh, my yeah. God. 
Well, your very first. Well, Axel Brown, come on out. Oh my God! Oh my God! You sound like a diamond! Oh my God! You sound like a diamond! Oh my God! You so handsome! Oh my God! Okay, look at him. Man, oh my God! How you doing? Gorgeous, huh? Nice to meet you. I know how to pick him, though. Yeah. <laughs> Axel, what do you remember about Cheryl? Well, I don't really remember much from the 60s, but I know we did attend <laughs> kindergarten together. Yeah. I just can't believe she remembered me from all these years, oh, you know. Yeah. You know, First Cheryl Wood, the comedian, and from the talk, I'm, I'm just flattered. Oh, yeah. Wow. And I, I remember that he was always so quiet, and I, I always gravitated toward people that were quiet because I thought maybe they were as lo alone as I felt. So I wanted to be people's friend who I thought was alone. So I was louder, you know, I would get louder, but I really was kind of quiet and reserved. And uh, I'm so happy to see you, but I noticed you have a wedding ring on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Both of them, both of them do. Yeah, if you have to tell your face. Uh, Jeff, do, are you married? Yes, I've been married to my wife, Trish, for six years. Wonderful. We have, we have six kids together, yeah. five grandsons. You have five grandbabies? Yep, all Wonderful. boys. Where you live now? Kansas, Chinook, Kansas. Oh, down, really? Way down southeast. Praise the Lord. <laughs> huh? You can't go down there. No, I ain't gonna oh, go. <laughs> what about you, Axel? Uh, I've been married for 22 years to Margo, and we have a daughter, and I just became a grandfather this year. Wonderful. Beautiful five-month-old granddaughter. Yeah, that's yeah, all that's good. And look how good their life became when they got away from me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cheryl, I'm gonna tell you something. You know, we joke around and we kid a lot, but I'm gonna tell you something. You are one of the most talented comedians in this business today. <laughs> you are also, Cheryl Underwood, one of the most intelligent people. You are quite a star, young lady, thank and congratulations you. with all your success. Thank you. We want to say thanks to Cheryl, Jeff, and Axel. Be sure to catch Cheryl on the talk. It airs weekdays on CBS.